example, in case you didn't know, when you're doing a bid, when you're accounting for time uh, on a project, whether you're estimating or just trying to get the timeline on how long it's gonna take, be sure to account for marking out. Having somebody designated, this is the most time killing, time consuming uh, part of the process is layout. Layout, even if it's a simple mark in holes, this one we're gonna be cutting a slot out, but again, getting the dimensions, getting the measurements down, um, it's, it's a time killer. It's something that you can, uh, you can overlook. It can be overlooked in the process, so I uh, just wanna encourage you to account for that. Um, when you're doing a project and you're getting it laid out, one, you need to have somebody that is experienced, especially if it's precision. This one, we have some leeway, so it's not, we're not a super tight uh, uh, dimension to where we need to stay within, you know, a, a real fine tolerance, but we still need to get it done and I need somebody to be able to do it um, because as I marked all these out to get ahead so that when I start, because I'm working by myself, um, what I want to do is be able to start and go and not have to stop and mark another one and, you know, and so on and so on. What I want to be able to do is hit the ground and go. So that's what, that's what we're working towards here. Uh, when we start cutting these, see how our torch works, but getting, getting that set up, that's going to be a key, uh, to production and getting a good time, getting it, you know, um, Fulfilling the task efficiently. David hey, G. Welding, Sergeant McGuire, Burner Rods, tip of the day. All right, welders, welders, helpers, you do not have to be scared of this. You do not have to be scared of any tools. Uh, we're using a cutoff wheel. This is a six inch cutoff wheel. We have a grinder that goes from four, four and a half to six inch. Um, we have the guard on there. Um, sometimes you have to take the guard off in order to perform the task at hand. This one, we can keep it on. So we're gonna keep it on. We got the handle, but it's all about respecting your tools, just like the cutting torch from the cutting torch to uh, to the welder, to any tool that you use, um, you just have to respect it. Do not put yourself in compromising positions, but it is to do a job. So, uh, you know if I'll be able to get a good, a good take on here. So, so, what I was able to do is get inside, cut it. Once you get in it eliminates the run. You have to control it still to keep it inside. I like to keep my 
blade when it's cutting inside the inside my cut instead of staying on top of it and you kind of spin your wheels um but as long as you're not you're going with with it as opposed to fighting it you don't have to worry about a kick there's a pinch point that causes drama causes trouble but again tools like this cut off wheels uh they're for a reason um respect them don't be scared of them kbg welding serving god burning rods